what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so we just got done with stop number two of this team trail that me and my partner are fishing at lay lake in columbia columbiana alabama so take a look at this uh film i've got and then we'll jump right back and we'll kind of do a little breakdown of how our practice and how the tournament went we'll see you in just a minute I'm trying to ditch you, buddy. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get these hooks out every time I get one out, another one gets hooked. Number one. Oh, dirt good, right there.
fish number three. Fighting none caught. What is that one? About a pound and a half you got? Yeah. So we got three. Two good ones, two, two pounders to start out. Ain't bad. It's cold, guys. It's cold, but that's a, that's a chunk. What the? That's a belly. Oh, they're all fat, man. Even that one and a half that I got. So as y'all can see, um, it was not the greatest tournament ever. Um, I apologize again. I know in the in the last tournament video I posted, I was having some camera problems. Um, it wouldn't stay charged. It was turning off, all of that stuff. Well, in this tournament, we only got uh, those, we only got three bites, um, you know, actually put fish in the boat. We only put three of them in the boat. And that happened early that morning. Um, and then the rest of the day, we went searching for two bid bites. You know, we went and flipped you know, up, you know, really, really shallow. I mean, we were flipping in grass mats in, you know, less than a foot and a half of water for the rest of the day. And we got two bites. And I hate to hate to admit it but i actually missed both of those fish i'll circle back in just a little bit of what it, what actually happened but before that i want to take you through uh our practice um we pre-fished for the, that tournament the friday before and we fished the tournament on saturday and we had a lot that changed um a lot of stuff that wasn't going right some stuff that was going good that didn't end up working for us in the tournament so i'm just going to break down kind of how our practice went what we did what our thought process was and then i'll walk you through the tournament so to start off uh that friday when we showed up to practice uh we put in down the river at the same ramp that the tournament was going to go out of and on lay lake you've got really i break it down in two different sections you've got the lower end that you've got your bigger uh, creeks and you've got some points you've got a lot of deep water some humps stuff like that or you can go up the river where you run into it it, it nets down a lot and you've got these small little uh, spawning pockets you know you can go way up the river and get in some current and the way the weather had set up during the week it felt we we both talked about it and felt like we were going to have a better shot at going down the river to find the most clean and stable water uh, to fish because Thursday it got extremely cold. We had a cold front come in Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, and a bunch of rain. And so everything just got extremely cold and extremely muddy really, really quick. So we kind of eliminated what we felt like we wasn't going to do very good up the river. Just because of that, you know, new mud, you know, big hard cold front coming in, and we felt more confident going down the river to find that clean water. And, you know, that's the way we like to fish. So we set out Friday searching, 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 and we found a bunch of mud. I mean, it was just everywhere. It was just mud. And finally, we got to the very last creek before the, the lower dam that it was a lot cleaner than everywhere. It was actually a couple of degrees warmer. And we started seeing some activity, started seeing some more bait fish. Um, we actually could see some fish on the graph. We, we were starting to feel really, really confident in that creek. So once we figured that out, we needed to find out, hey, how are we going to get these fish to bite? Because we still were dealing with a major cold front that had came in. I mean, it was the week before it was over 70 degrees for three or four days in a row. And that lake was fixing to just start firing on all cylinders. And of course, when we show up, we got to have a cold front. So it just put a shock on those fish and we had to, to figure out how in the world we were going to get them to bite. And we found a couple pockets that had some flats and some points that had a bunch of uh, pea gravel and little chunk rock on it. And some of those spots were pulling up 
to feed. And so we were actually, we caught them in practice. Uh, I got two bites back to back on a rattle trap, throwing it out there and yo-yoing it. Um, if you want more information on doing that technique, I had posted a little while back a lipless crankbait video, and I kind of go through a little bit on that technique. But we caught two doing that. Um, we had, I believe we had one flipping bite, and I had a fish follow a, a mad draft. So wasn't a very, you know, crazy practice for us, but this time of the year going into the pre-spawn, I feel so confident finding that clean, most stable water to fish in. It just seems that, you know, especially when you get these fronts that come in, if you can find that stable, clean water, you have a really, really, you know, better opportunity to catch those fish instead of having to go and fight the new mud and all of that stuff. So we got back to the hotel and we rigged up everything and we got to talking and we decided, yes, we can go in there in that creek and catch a limit, you know, but we didn't feel like we could catch the winning bag doing that. We felt like, hey, we could probably catch, you know, 9, 10, maybe 11 pounds doing that. And But then we were still going to have to figure out how to catch a big fish. And on Way Lake, it's notorious for guys that go and flip, you know, punching mats or flipping wood or anything like that those guys always seem to bring in some big fish. And so we decided we're going to go and we're going to fish for those spots for the first two or three hours. After that, we're going to go head hunt for the rest of the day. And what happens, happens, you know. So there's, you know, we, we've been beat so many times in the past trying to go catch limit fish, you know, those easy fish that you can go just drag a worm or... Carolina rig on and that type of stuff. That's fun and that's great when you need, you know, to fill a limit, but but most of the time those are not the fish that's gonna win tournaments. So we looked at the weather again for Friday night going into Saturday, and there was another it got like even colder Friday night. It was twenty four degrees, I believe, um Saturday morning. So those fish were already in shock from Friday. Now they're going to get hit even colder again. Um, so we decided, hey, you know what? We're going to go spot fish, try to catch some of those limit fish in the morning. Um, the sun was supposed to come out. We was like, once that sun comes out, warm some stuff up, we'll go head hunt. No matter if we've got five fish or we have no fish, we're going to go and, and flip the rest of the day to catch big fish. So, first thing that morning, we ran right back down to that creek and started fishing. And I caught that first one you saw on the jerk bait, and it was it was a solid fish. I, the camera I, I should have got a little bit better footage of it, but it was actually a two and a half or plus uh, spot. And then we rolled over to a point in, or a I'm sorry, a hump in that creek, and we caught two more. Now it got very, very populated with boats in that one creek um, really quick. And so it was hard for us to kind of bounce around to some other stuff we had found. And it got to about right at 10 o'clock. And we both decided, hey, we've got three fish. And they're actually, you know, pretty solid fish, you know, two pounders, two, you know, up two and two and a half pounders. So we're like, hey, we're ahead of schedule. You know, let's go head hunt. We only need two bites. You know, so 10.30, we put all that stuff up, put them, those rods back in the rod box. I pull a flipping stick out, and we go to work. And we went about two and a half hours without a bite. And then finally, um, in the back of another creek, I had flipped in a mat. And for you guys that, that punch, and flip know what i'm about to say when you go set out that you're going to flip all day you're not looking for 30 or 40 bites in a day you're looking for five and in this tournament we only needed two more bites 
and I did not have my mind 100% focused that whole time. And as soon as you do not have your mind in it, you will miss those fish. And that's exactly what happened. Um, I had flipped in this mat, and we were having to work it really, really slow. And instead of having my rod out in front of my chest, for whatever reason, I had it out to the side, and I was just looking up ahead at some other mats. And when I went to lift that bait up, she took me back into that mat, just completely had her way with me, and I, I was out of position, couldn't get a hook set on her. I tried to do this, you know, nonchalant, you know, spastic hook set, and it didn't work. And I got frustrated because I know that that was a really good fish, and that was one of the bites that we were had set out to catch, and I completely blew that one. Um, so Peyton tried to calm me down a little bit and just say, Hey, just, you know, flip up another one. So I finally, I got over that and went back to fishing. And in this Creek, there's a few docks. Um, we had tried to flip a jig on, wasn't getting bites. And there was a mat, a, a floating, uh, you know, flat mat that you would lay out on in the summertime. And it was just floating out tied to this buoy in front of this, this pier. And it's usually never there. I, I know the creek uh, pretty well. Um, it was just random out there, like somebody left it out. And well, I just, you know, nonchalantly pitched my jig over there out in front of it, um, not really thinking much about it, you know. And next thing I know, my jig is up under the boat, and I tried to set the hook, and of course that fish is you know, nine times out of 10, you don't catch that fish. So now we're sitting there, you know, it's, it's two o'clock or so. And we set out for two bites and we got them and I screwed both of them. And it, it's played with my head the rest of the day. And we, we came in with three. Um, we did finish up 16th out of 40 boats. So it's not terrible. But it's still, um, it's still bugging me that that I, you know, just missed the bites just straight up, you know, just because I didn't have my head in it and I wasn't a hundred percent focused. Um, it's a valuable lesson to learn, and I'm sure there's a bunch of anglers out there that have their own personal experiences of of missing fish or making uh, a wrong decision. Um, but how you live and you learn. Um, looking back on it now, I feel I feel good about it actually because I knew, hey, we had a game plan. We figured out how to catch three solid fish in that you know twenty degree uh, temp, and then we generated two more two of the you know big kicker bites that we needed, and you know it just it it is what it is at this point. You know, I had, I didn't catch those fish, but I can tell you this, I'm going to be 100% paying attention from now on when I do go up there shallow looking for those one or two bites uh, for the rest of the day. So that was our tournament, you know. It uh, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't a, um, for some of you, I'm sure it's not a fantastic story or, or video to watch. But for some of you, this may be a, a huge learning experience for you. You might be um, want to learn, you know, to go and fish for only five bites in a day. And you, you've you got to know that your mind has got to be 100% focused at all times. Um, because when you, like what happened to me, when when you're not, when you're not paying attention, that's when you're going to miss that big fish. Um, but hey, I told you guys at the beginning of this, when I started my channel, that I was going to be 100% honest with you, no matter if we bring in 30 pounds or we bring in you know we had right at seven pounds um that's just the way it is here it is it, it's me being honest um and that's what happened so we actually moved up in the points a little bit believe it or not um we came back from that horrible lake martin tournament um but we're looking forward we've got our next one is uh lake mitchell so we're gonna go back and get after it again and i can promise you guys my mind will be a hundred percent on it um i'm hoping to have some other 
equipment for the GoPro so that I have footage throughout the whole entire day and you guys don't have to miss anything. So I'm going to work on that and I'm still going to be posting videos throughout the week, a bunch of how-tos and tip videos. Um, I believe my next video is actually going to be on my flipping setup and and how I go about flipping. And I promise I'll mention the mindset you have got to have on flipping. So guys, be looking out for that. I appreciate you guys watching all the uh, extremely incredible comments you guys are leaving. I love every single one of them. So please like and subscribe and keep supporting me, and we'll see you guys on the next one.